Thanks for joining me today, guys. I'm Mark, this is Forgiver Backpacking, and today we're taking a look at three of the newer pieces that I've got from Wakako, and uh, we're gonna do some coffee. So I've got, I believe at this point, every single piece in the Wakako line. Uh, I, I did find that when I moved, uh, as I was going through my stuff, I've lost a few pieces, so I've actually gotta go on their website and order some new pieces, like some, uh, baskets and one of the one of the cups um, but for what we're doing today I've got everything that I need and so the three pieces that we're going to be looking at is the exagrind so a really nice compact uh, travel grinder that really packs down nicely is uh, the, the, the feel of it the quality of it the just the movement of the the bearings in there really really good uh, goes together really nicely and spins very freely. This nice handle on here is great uh, and really can get down to a really uh, fine, even even somewhat too fine of a grind for the Pico Presso. But next one is the Exagram. Uh, so this is their scale and this is a really, really nice scale. It's got a timer on here. You can do tear. Um, so you get everything set up on there, hit the timer and then you can make sure that everything's done extremely precisely. And then this is the piece that's actually gonna make, be making the coffee today. This is the Pico Presso. Really nice piece of gear. So this is much different than the, uh, the other espresso makers that they've got. This one is more of a professional level. As you can see at the bottom, it actually has a uh, porta filter, much like you would see on a professional machine. Uh, inside of it, We've got a few pieces that go with it. Uh, and, and that's the cool thing, is everything you can store right inside of it. There's an extra brush that you can store inside of there. I don't really uh, use the brush too often, and so I don't have it with me. So you've got your ring, which goes on the top of the porta filter for measuring the dose in there, and it keeps it from uh, going over. A really nice tamp. Uh, the tamp could used to be just slightly bigger. It is a little bit loose in the, in the porta filter, and then you've got a little stirrer uh, just to make sure that the the coffee after it comes out of the grinder isn't clumped together and is nice and loose. In the bottom, you have a nice uh, shower head, and that shower head sprays the water onto the porta filter. Now, this porta filter is tiered, as you can see right there, and I have seen some videos and some people who have swapped out this one for a slightly uh, more smooth uh, standard looking basket and I think that that's what I'm going to do. I actually have it in my um, in my Amazon car right now so I'll probably swap that out. And then the piece that it goes into that goes into the bottom. Uh, for the actual chamber itself, it's, it's a hard plastic but it's got like a rubberized texture on the outside, really nice feel. Everything else is metal on here and then you've got your plunger. So two hand action uh, works really nice. So I've got some water on. Let's get this thing preheated. I've got some really good coffee I'm gonna grind up. So let's do that and make up some coffee and see how it works out. All right, so let's make up some coffee. What I've got today is from Onyx, a really nice Ethiopian. Now, really for an espresso, it does work out better if you're using a darker roast, at least a medium. All of the all the coffees that I prefer are light roasts, and so that's what I've got in the house, and so that's what I've I've done the adjustments for. I will say it has taken a lot. I've probably pulled I don't know, 30 shots to get the grind right, to get the timing right, to get everything dialed, the right dose in there. So that's where we're at. So first thing we're gonna do is just to keep this warm since it is preheated, I'm gonna go ahead and fill up this chamber. I'm gonna fill it just below the top, just a little bit of room there in the top. And then I'm going to put the cap on. Nice and tight, get this over here out of the way. All right, so I have already gotten the dose of coffee that I need. I'm gonna put the ring on the basket right there i've ground the coffee and it's ground very very fine at this point so i'll show you guys 
exactly how fine. You can see here, it is ground pretty fine. I'm gonna take a little stirring tool and stir it up, break up those little clumps there. You can see when it comes out of the grinder that uh, because it is so fine, it does clump together quite a bit. And so use this, if you get a multi-pronged one, it works a little bit better. And then you put the tamp on top and push it down. And the ring actually provides the proper amount of tamp. Take that off, then just kind of clean off the, the top of that so that when the shower head fits on there, it's nice and snug. And then that goes into here. Whole thing screws together now. Now we're just about ready to start making espresso. So what I've got here is my cup. I will turn on the exogram. All right, so I've turned on the exogram. It is zeroed out. And the first thing I'm gonna do is pump it eight times and then wait 10 seconds. So I'm gonna pump it eight times, then I'm gonna start the timer. And that gets the pre-infusion going and gives it time to start kind of uh, soaking all the grinds, making sure everything is good there. So we're coming up on 10 seconds and now I'm just gonna press once per second. And we're starting to get some espresso coming out of there. And since I did a 34 gram dose, I'm looking for, I'm 17 gram dose, I'm looking for 34 grams of output. And I got it in 28 seconds. So that's pretty good. You're looking for somewhere between 20 and 30 seconds. Uh, not a bad looking shot right there. You can see a, a fair amount of crema on top, not a lot. And part of that is because I'm using a light roast. Uh, the light roasts are not gonna have quite as much crema. And the taste is gonna be a little bit different. It's tough. It is tough to use a light grind and not get it sour. Uh, with darks, you, you battle the bitter a little bit, but on the lights, you really battle sour and getting a full extraction. And so making sure that the grind is correct and that the amount of time it takes is correct. So let's give this a try. That is really good. A lot of the sweetness, a lot of the uh, really intricacies of the coffee come out in that it is maybe maybe a hair hair on the uh, under extracted, slightly sour, but it's it's kind of that that borderline when it's really sweet. It's hard to tell if it's sour or if it's just very sweet, um, and so that's kind of what I'm getting on this one. Now I, I will tell you that as I started doing this, I went through so many different shots, like I said, to get this right. I had some that came out so sour, they were they were just completely salty tasting. Um, and it's taken a lot of time to adjust everything. The the dose, how hard I'm tamping, the because I was pulling the ring off and then tamping a little bit harder. Um, a whole bunch of different different things, the temperature of the water, how much I had preheated it, things like that. But now I'm to the point where I'm finally making some, some shots out of here that uh, I actually enjoy drinking. So if you have any questions, any comments, if you wanna learn more about the Pico Presso, I'll leave a link to the Wakeco site down below. If you have any questions, any comments for me, leave them down below and I'll be sure to answer them. Thanks for checking this out today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you learned something from it. I will see you guys down the trail.